Hello friend, this is Prashant. Today I'm here with another great tutorial with a great tool. This tool is also open source, free. You can use online anywhere using your browser or on the desktop with a desktop application. Basically this software, this small tool, you can use to create any diagram which can be a, a website wireframe or any complex software architecture diagram or sequence diagram or any any pie charts or anything that you wanted to show visually guys please don't forget to subscribe my channel so without any delay let's see this diagrams tool as i said this can be used as a desktop application you can download it from this button and install it on your laptop or computer or you can use web application by clicking on start button so as soon as i click uh, it will ask me to create a new diagram on the storage so i already have selected storage as device that is my current laptop but you can choose any of the drives available here or github or gitlab according to you will need to provide a login information and the file will be saved on those options so I'm going to create on uh, create a new diagram. As you see, there are different categories on the left side with the numbers saying uh, uh, different diagrams available in that category. So right from basic to engineering, UML to wireframe. So all kind of categories are available for different people, like student, teacher, civil engineers, software engineers, or architect or web de designers. We are going to see a basic diagram first. So let me choose this blank diagram and hit on create button. So it's asking me to name the file. So I'm going to name it as a demo and hit on save. Let's see what different features now this tool is making us available. So on the left hand side, if you see there are different tabs according to the shapes available if you don't see the desired category that you would like to use you can select it from here okay so i'm going to select ios which is already not there hit apply and you will see ios related uh, shapes are added already here we are going to see the scratch pad later while we are preparing the diagram. So let's keep that due till then. On the right hand side, there is a property window. Right now there is nothing on the canvas. That is why it is showing all the properties available for this canvas. Like the current grids are on. If you wish not to have these grids, you can deselect it. Again, this is right now a page view. You see the entire page on the screen. If you wish that, okay, entire screen should be used as a canvas, you can deselect this option and uh, the screen will be made available as a canvas. So likewise, there are there will be a different options for different object on the canvas. For example, if I drag and drop this rectangular shape, it will have a style related to that rectangle shape like the colors, fill, line and opacity. You can write any of the text and you can change the properties of that text. You can write the text by double clicking in the middle of that shape. And you can format that text or the shape itself. Let's take a simple use case to draw a diagram. So I'm going to draw an entity relationship diagram. So let me find the tab here. So entity relation related, all the shapes are available here. So let me take an entity called student and then take the attributes which are relevant to the student entity.
let me take a attribute which is a derived attribute as a age will be calculated based on the date of birth okay let's take one more attribute multi value attribute phone number okay let's move this here age and phone number if you wish to align this horizontally you can select all the options all the shapes and you can hit this button like horizontally bottom aligned so you don't have to worry about the alignment if you want to distribute the 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 empty space space equally you can hit a horizontal button over here by selecting so if you see the the space between two attributes is exactly the same now connect these attributes to the entity so you can use this arrow button and add a new entity or attribute we don't want that so we are not going to use that option instead we are going to use this relationship and we are going to connect to the highlighting point so likewise you can connect every attribute to the student and your simple entity and its attribute diagram is ready now if you wish that this student entity should be highlighted or styled in a different way let me do that in a a way that i want and now if you wish that okay you want this student entity to be used in again and again in subsequent diagrams that you are going to draw in future you can drag this and you can save it in the scratch pad which allow you to use the same entity again and again in next future diagrams or within the same diagram by dragging back to the canvas so likewise i already have few objects uh, added in the scratch pad so likewise i have in the past have created this student class which i can reuse it basically so this is very a nice feature that anyone can like it other features of this tool is you can save your diagram in different form like you can export as png jpg svg or pdf as well vs dx is a extension for the microsoft visio software so you can directly export this file to be used in visio or html or uh, xml so these are the few formats are available here to export there are different options you can try it out, try it out. Uh, for example layers so you can have as many as layers and you can draw it on different layer for example now i have added one untitled air which is a, a, a layer above this background now whatever i draw on this layer it will remain on the untitled layer so you can also rename this layer called as top layer and uh, let me add few objects here to demonstrate how it is useful so as soon as i disable the background layer it will just hide the background layer objects and if i deselect the top layer it will hide those items so working on layer is very useful when you have a a, a complex diagram a big diagram uh, this concept is more or like is taken from any other like graphics or rendering software this tool is very powerful tool with lots of features and the shapes and options available with the flexibility of exporting the images in different forms and especially this is a free tool easily accessible over the internet or on the laptop so i recommend everyone to use this tool as much as possible and for such tools and tips please don't forget to subscribe my channel 
आई विल बी शेयरिंग मोर सच फ्री एंड ओपन सोर्स टूल इन माई फ्यूचर वीडियोज टिल देन बाय